Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV. And some of you may remember our video on the logistic map and its associated bifurcation diagram. In a comment on that video, viewer Lucas Twau asked us if we could make a video on the Hanolm map and its 2D bifurcation. Well, you're all in luck because that's the topic of today's video. Recall that the logistic map involves repeating this quadratic function over and over again. For some values of a, x converges to a fixed point. For others, it settles in a cycle of points. For still others, it bounces around chaotically, never quite settling down to a point or cycle. The fixed points, cycles, and chaos are different kinds of attractors for this map. It can also diverge off to infinity for some values, but we're not going to worry about those today. We plotted the behavior of variable x with different values of a in this diagram. This allowed us to see how as a increases, the map goes from a single fixed point to cycles of 2, 4, 8, etc., and then hits a value where the map starts behaving chaotically. The Hainon map is similar. It's also a quadratic map, but it involves two formulas with two variables x and y, as well as two parameters a and b. If we think of x and y as representing a point on the plane, we can see how it behaves with different values of a and b. Like the logistic map, the Hainon map converges to a single point, a cycle of two or more points, or bounces around chaotically. Now let's choose some values of a and b for which the map is fully chaotic. The so-called classic Hainon map sets a to 1.4 and b to 0.3. If we plot the points generated by the map, we see that they aren't random, but rather they lie along this complex, curved shape. We call this a strange attractor. And it shows us the underlying order within the chaotic system. It is locally unstable, but globally stable. If we zoom in here with these folds, we can see some of the finer detail of the set. As we continue to zoom in, what looked like a single fold is actually a series of folded layers. In fact, the Hainon map strange attractor is a fractal, smooth in one direction but disjoint and self-similar in another. If we keep B at 0.3 and change the value of A, we see how things change from periods of stability around groups of points to areas of chaos and the strange attractor. We can best view this behavior using a bifurcation diagram. For the logistic map, we plotted a bifurcation diagram that showed how the variable x changed for the different values of a, with fixed points, cycles, and chaos. For the Hainon map, we have two variables, x and y, so we will need to make a three-dimensional plot. And here's the three-dimensional bifurcation diagram for parameter a while b is held at 0.3. It looks a lot like the bifurcation diagram of the logistic map, but folded up like a taco. If we zoom in and move around a bit, we can see the period doubling behavior and the onset of chaos. We also see islands of stability after the onset of chaos, again similar to the logistic map. If we look at it from above, we can see the Hinon map strange attractor with its curved folded shape. Let's travel into it for a bit and look around. We can also plot a bifurcation diagram for parameter b while holding a constant at 1.4. Once again, we see that it's folded up and curved. There is period doubling and chaos. And if we look from above once again, we see the shape of the strange attractor. Let's explore some more. Lovely and fascinating. Now before I continue, I'd like to ask you to please consider supporting this channel 
so that we may bring you more Synthesizer and other cultural content coming out regularly. Links to our merch store, Patreon, and Ko-Fi are in the description below. And if you like what you see here, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. But the strange attractor and bifurcation maps are not all that the Hainon map has in store for us. If we explore values of A and B completely outside of the classic map range, we find some other interesting behaviors, including some of the values that converge. If we set A to around 0.2 and move B downwards, we see the spiral pattern emerge around the fixed point. As B decreases, it gets even more complex. Wow, that looks interesting. Let's zoom in on it. We can see the intricate spiral patterns converging on a center area. Zoom in some more. We see that the spiral pattern here stays largely the same as we zoom in, suggesting a self-similar and thus fractal shape. Zoom in even deeper, and we can see this black hole emerging. Zoom in on that, you can see these bright points around the empty space. These are the points in a cycle attractor. Zoom back out. Now let's increase B towards one. We see things again converging to a single point. And then it splits into two. And we see spirals growing around each area of convergence. Let's zoom in on this one. Once again, we see the self-similar spiral pattern. Keep zooming towards the center, and once again, we find a ring of points representing a cycle, or rather, a bigger cycle with two very distant areas of convergence. We can do a three-dimensional plot showing the change in B while A is constant at 0.2. This looks quite different from the folded bifurcation plot we saw earlier. We can see the spiral elements at either end of a delicate structure. If we zoom into the base of this structure, we can see the large single spiral at the bottom, as well as smaller ones above it. And now let's zoom out and look at one of the two spirals on top. Once again, we see small ones on the approach. Zoom in. Hmm, it looks a bit like galaxies, doesn't it? And let's try one more plot, varying A while leaving B constant near minus one. As we see, we get something completely different. And now let's look at the 3D plot of A with B near minus one. There is this large cloud of points with three branches. Zoom in on one of the branches. We can see some of those spirals that converge the cycles, areas of stability amongst the chaos. If we go into the large cloud itself, we see that it actually has a bit more structure than we expected. There is this large column of concentrated points in the middle it almost looks like an energy beam. And if we look closely, we can see all of these fine tendril structures. And if we look at the top, we see more of those black hole spirals. And then there is this mysterious triangle region on top with its own spiral and black hole. Of course, our comparisons to astronomical phenomena are purely metaphorical. But if there is a deeper connection, well, that'll have to wait for another video. Do you have any questions about the Hainon map or anything that we explored today? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.